Oh, well, good morning, good morning to everybody. I'm still stretching, sorry. Um, looking for a load. I'm about to jump, get going for the day, and I just woke up, and as you see, this trailer, whoever dropped it last night while I was sleeping, really did not give two craps about how they dropped it. Thankfully, I can get out, but just goes to show you, stuff can happen even while you're sleeping, so... Alright, let me go ahead and do this, start this thing up, pre-trip this truck, and look for a load.
What's happening, y'all? Happy Friday. Welcome to another American Truck Simulator Home Daily. Thank you for the clap still. I know we had some overlay beforehand. Just showing some of the fun stuff that was happening during the week and everything. And I'm headed home. Well, I'm trying to get home. Headed over to San Diego. It's a little short baby load, but I'm hoping from here. You can get another one because there's another vector. Sorry, Volta Sun in here. I what gets me is because on my paperwork I still write Vector for me personally, but I'm trying to be better about YouTube and anybody watching so they know what I'm talking about. I I don't confuse nobody. So open up a little short load over there, and then I'll pick up something out of there, and um take that wherever it needs to go. And I just figure on the way we just talk about the lease and my views of it after doing it now for a week. So, see how the dealership leases, you know. But let's go ahead and get rolling here. Was, um, reply to this text before we go. Don't drive and text, which I am horrible about doing, but I'm trying to get better. As long as you try, they can't fault you for... Well, no, legally they can't still fault you, but... Alright, locked in, let's roll. He's out of here. Every now and then. Easy. There we go. Hey, get up out of here. Quick, there we go. Oh man, it's all up. That's my fault. Uh, you can just tell I'm ready to get home. <laughs> you can tell I'm just ready to get home. Let's see. Swing, swing, swing. I was gonna set up track IR, but got so much stuff going on. I was like, yeah, bump it. Let's just get rolling here. And no, I haven't put up my dash mount for the GPS yet. It's gonna get happen when we get home. Cause I was when I was I forgot. Um. When we had that truck stop, I think it was Wednesday, I think it was. I meant to look there, I forgot all about it, so, but it, it's coming, I'm gonna try and get it. Plus there's some other little things I wanna do to this truck when I get back, since I'll be back and I'll be off at least the weekend, so. Car, if you go, I can get, okay, you know what, bump it, I'm just blaming this all on, is that a cop? Yep, there's a cop, there's a cop up there. It's interesting. And the funny thing is, which I don't get people sometimes. Now that it's red, they'll go, I think. I'm not sure what's happening now. Alright, let me get around this traffic, then I'll get back with y'all. Yeah, so I had to get around all that traffic and everything else like that. So, but, um, yeah, when I get home, I'll try about my, um,. Phone mount in the corner here somewhere, you know how it could be with some of these leased trucks. So I'm gonna try and put something in here for a GPS and I'm gonna get rid of this hanging CB because that was nice. It is nice to look at and it's very, uh, it just gives a nice feel and everything to it, a flow to it, if you will, and just feels nice and everything. It's annoying a little bit at night, so I'm just getting rid of it. It's nice, like, well, I'm not really using it. This isn't multiplayer or nothing like that, so bump it. I'll just take it out all together. But no, I am going to miss this truck when it's gone. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm going to miss this truck when it's gone, but I am going to probably jump it to my peak because I, I'm... I think I said in the last video, just something about the 389s is just my truck. It's just nice getting into them, you know. So now, if anything, I may look into leasing it a little bit longer than the original month plan because trust me, yeah, trust me, it was not cheap, and that's why I don't mind. Another reason I don't mind running like this because by the time, actually, I think the last load I delivered, uh, actually, the one right before this one is. Between the cost of leasing and everything, and I'm now even, so this would be about profit for the week, for which I really don't need, but I'm not going into finances and everything like that. But the point is, I may look into leasing it on a little bit longer. We'll see. I got stuff happening in June, and that's partially why I'm not trying to lease this one, because why pay for something you won't be using that much? It's kind of just a waste, especially when you got money. 
but uh, not money. Well, you got money, but also you got trucks just sitting around that you can use that don't cost <laughs> nothing besides regular maintenance and fuel and stuff like that. So that's why I'm like a half and half with that. So, not to mention, I'm also looking to upgrade the Black Beauty. No, not Black Beauty. I'm um, Black and Green. This truck right here. Because, yeah, she's been my only day cab, lover, stuff like that. Catch this gear. Um, love her. She's a great day cap. But the problem is I'm learning. I don't really do enough local to use it as the day cap. And although she looks a little nice, I love her. She's great. I'm going to upgrade her. Maybe put a, finally put a sleeper on her. So technically I will have no day cap trucks then. Which it just happens. The premise of the show, as you know, the home daily. Doesn't happen as much as I would like, and money wise, it's not been, it's just a thing. So I'm like, you know what, make it work for you so you can jump in them more often. Upgrade, put sleep on, and I think what I'm gonna do, which will be the first ever truck I've had while I've gone this route, I'm gonna try and turn it into a hot shot truck. <laughs> so, real low flame, I'm gonna go for that low rider style, custom paint, and all that. So I'm, I'm gonna do some work with her. She'll look nice, so she will look nice, I feel anyway. Yeah, that's all works in the progress, or works in progress per se. So, so let's talk about the dealership lease after a week. How I feel about it. Money-wise, it's pretty good. She gets you the miles. There's a lot of Voltasons around to pull from them, and their sister contracts are nice, so it does keep you moving. As you see, I'm still moving. I haven't really been sitting for too long. Unlike in the beginning of the year with that January bus release, that still irks me. I'm, I am so disappointed. But that's why I'm just giving an insight from this view in case anybody else is thinking about trying to do this. But it does keep you moving. A lot of things, as you see, it's not cars, but it's tires, so it's still within the um, dealership cargo hauling um, criteria and aspect and all that. So it works. So it works on that front. And it keeps you moving, like I said, great miles. So it's not bad so far. What I'm hoping, though, is, and I think I said this Monday, when I get home and I'm off for the weekend and I come in Monday, and after they've gotten used to how I run and see, I can do what I can do. Because let's be honest, I think I said this Monday, too. Oh, no, I pretty fine. It's your own truck. You do what you want. But they don't know me. They don't know how I run. They can look at my DAX score and all that, and it'd be great. But they're like, yeah, we still do the over the road first then we'll let you do some local stuff and that's what i'm hoping will happen monday so i'm hoping we'll see how it goes on monday but that's what i'm hoping it will happen monday but no even uh, especially for a lot of people i was talking to a driver just last night i was like you want to do something yeah, go here, here, run, 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 run. if you're looking for that kind of mileage this lease will definitely help you do that um, I'm not going to stop until we drop. I was about to say I would pull over and show you all the board for it. just Voltasons in general. But I'm not stopping. I got, I'm not even like an hour away. So I think less than 30 miles. About 40 miles. But, but I would show you the board. But it has, like I said, great aspect. You can get to a lot of Voltasons throughout the area. So, like I said, it's interesting how that messed me up so much on Monday thinking it was it was small no they are the big ones they are like more much per se of um dealerships in this thing kept the gear thank you so, but now if you want to get out here do some mileage this is definitely a great one to try and lock on so and it gives you a nice little wide range of like if you want to do cars or i've done you you saw i'm doing um drive-ins now I'd have to double check because I have all this stuff written down. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm doing later today. I should edit it, write it down more out because right now I just have like the minimums and stuff like that. But I'm going to write down the sister contracts with some votes and are, stuff like that. So I'm going to do that later. But it's a very large range of stuff you can get to, at least I feel in the way I do it. So. Yeah, but if you want to try, I, w I wouldn't, don't, mm, how to put it, don't let my opinion, if I feel like I'm deterring you, I, was, I don't know how, but if I was, don't let it deter you, try it for yourself, it actually is very nice, it's very nice, 
it's different from the norm of just jumping in going to like docks and stuff like that it's a nice little change up thing you know and if you've watched my home daily for a while it's a very similar feel and get out there similar to um i can't really think of one that's kind of why i lease on because it's got its own unique feel i guess the closest i would say as far as all the leases i do constantly well not constantly but that i do quite often maybe bellflower maybe bellflower and i can't even fully say it all the way back fly because what you deliver to is different but it does get you miles it does do that so oh, i feel like i'm rambling now but anyway try it if you feel interested and in it. um, it's not bad at all i feel like i gotta help you. not bad at all so it's always a trip how fast you get into san diego off eight that's why i'm bringing up so much I'm like I know San Diego is on five but it's like eight merges right with five right at that point and I don't want to miss it you know and I don't care if y'all call me what you want this is how I would do in reality if you were riding with me in reality and I have my paper map you best believe it is sitting right by my seat so I can grab it don't get me wrong like I have GPS and all that stuff like that whether it be my phone or my um external one bought one just for that purpose but either way I still trust paper maps i don't care what you say i got updated versions of them as you know now the thing about no i need to get a 2024 one now the thing about it, i still have a 2022 oh that's sad i might do that later this year but either way i have it I, i'm i'm not the type I, I i was thinking that this morning as i was thinking all the stuff i gotta do we want to get home as far as data disc and stuff like that i give all everybody who relies on these clouds much prop that you have that much reliability in these clouds for like pictures and stuff like that because I hate to break it to you I'm sure you've experienced this at least once they will fail eventually the cloud will fail then you will lose all your stuff that's why even any professional will tell you back up your stuff that's why I have so much stuff backed up I don't trust no cloud I don't even have a cloud I think my phone provider um, provides a cloud. If I want one, I don't use it. Because I'm like, bump y'all. I don't use you I don't trust that cloud. It's going to fail. Not to mention, let's be honest. Say you get a little freaky. You got someone that you ain't supposed to. Hing, hing, wink, wink, nah, nah. Um, then it's available online. And say somebody hacks your cloud. Now that's a, No. I don't do clouds. Like, <laughs> like, I have my own server. And the reason the whole server started was just because I, I love taking pictures of my wife. I don't care. I'll say it. I love taking pictures of my wife, taking videos, stuff like that, just some memories in general. And I wanted to keep all that stuff on the computer, but I was afraid somebody might get in, hack it, do all that stuff. And then, I mean, I ain't nothing dirty or nothing like that, but just in general, don't want nobody looking. They ain't supposed to be looking. So I built me a server years ago, and that's what I've been doing ever since. And I love that server. There's so much storage on that. Oh my goodness. Ain't like back in the day when I was younger and I had that one drive and it was like maybe 300 and trying to keep everything on that. No. Never again. Never again. But no, I give much props to y'all if y'all trust that cloud alone. I wouldn't. But again, that's my belief, my opinion, and my choice. So y'all do y'all. Glad it works for y'all. I'm not doing that though. You best believe you you can whenever you hear me say we going on a trip doing something like that I'll tell you the process that goes involved with that it gets made into its own video or its own folder obviously gets dated this to one disc gets dated this to another disc and then depending on how um significant the trip or whatever thing is it gets put on its own dvd which i'm glad in today's time i can still buy dvds they're going to be more of a harder find thankfully amazon still has them but that's another thing i don't like buying from amazon if i can get in person my go-to before where i used to get all my dvds they stopped carrying them i found another spot so and then cost wise it's about the same but i'm like okay that's why i came up with that plan when that goes out then i got another plan to do which I'm not looking forward to that plan, but at least it's not a cloud. It'll still be on a hard storage. But anyway, um, once, like I said, it depends on that it gets put on its own DVD. So that's literally a three-step backup I have for videos, special memories, photos, stuff like that. So 
on. That's my belief. Y'all do y'all. Like I said, I'm not saying clouds are bad. They're very easy. You can access them from your little smartphones, tablets, all that. So they're very easy. But just me personally, I'm not a personal fan of using the cloud. And I know why my talking got off because I saw this and I was like, oh, gosh, it's that small behind bitumen. Oh, it's that small behind bitumen. This is the right bitumen, right? Yep, thought so, and it's that small behind bitumen. Uh, it's, uh, okay, at least I got a little spot there. Because I remember the one time before this, I might have did a video of this. Look back and see. It was when I drove my buddy's truck. It was a 389, I believe, then, but it was a stretched frame. And, oh, my goodness, getting in there with that. I think the video was only, like, just doing that one form. I think it ended up being, like, a freaking... 45 to 50 minute video and 40 minutes was just squeezing in this mama llama okay, at least they give you a little bit of room through here because I'm gonna have to blindside it that's why when I was talking I was like oh lord not this one okay, swing 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 there we go there we go there we go there we go got that one stupid beating you up I said you should have plenty of room here Now, the thing I gotta remember too with this truck compared to the Kenworth is how quick she cuts back with you. That's why my trailer, if you've watched me backing with this one, they get a little more offside on that side. Oh, no, too much. Sorry. Um, because I'm still used to the Kenworth, which had a little bit different type of swing and cutting back and all that. Don't worry, I mean, obviously, you see, I'm getting, I'm used to it now and I'm aware of what I'm doing. But. That's why I give myself, I think I said in the last video as well, at least three months or 30,000 miles to get used to a truck. Because I, 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 all of y'all who like to jump from truck to truck to truck to truck to truck, that's fine, do you? I'm not saying nothing wrong with that. But you don't get the feel of that feeling when you come back to your truck after being away from it for a minute and be like, ah, the good old truck. You know it, you know how it does all of that stuff. You just don't get that. When you jump from truck to truck to truck, that's why I'm glad none of my companies, A, require you to be a company driver, slip seat and a lot, you know. Because I couldn't do that. I mean, I've done it. I'm sure there's some videos. Because I have done it for a temporary purpose, but I'm sure it wasn't the company I went back to quickly. Alright, we got her. We got her. Right, now just keep swimming around. I'm sure. Yep, right there. And I will say yes, yes, we can give them a clap on this. Thank goodness for these heads up displays. Because the ones here, let me pull it up and show you. Because I, I use it with TrackGuard and it works, but depending on the size of your monitor. And see, thankfully, I have a TV that I'm using for a monitor, so it's big, so I can see. But I'm thinking more of somebody who's trying to do this on a laptop. You got all this happening, and then you're going to try and use their built in ones. And their depth perception even are not completely accurate. That's why you see so many of these mods out for like, oh, true life perception and all that. I'm like, uh, uh, I don't, I tried it back in the day. I'm like, no, I, I, they give you enough so you can work. But it, yeah, I, if you've seen any of my videos, you know, I stick with the heads up display. I don't, at least for, oh, I'm a little off. At least for the passenger side. Driver's side, I use it, you see, the one they give you, and it works just fine. But the passenger side, nah, nah, give me that heads up display. All right, cut, baby, come on, cut with me a little more, and I know why I'm so off, because I did not realize it was that close on me. Good, yeah. Good. Ah. Like I said, I just gotta get used to how quick this truck cuts. It cuts quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I should have yeah, There we go. Pull up a little bit. I'll stall now, please. Thank you. And that's why I don't edit out. <laughs> I think I said this years ago. Everyone jumps on here and they like be, oh, I'm perfect, I'm perfect, I'm perfect. I'm the first to show you and happily admit I'm not. I am not no super trucker. I No, <laughs> that is one thing, especially in the real life industry where you talk to truck drivers and they're like, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best. Look at 
if you've never been to Chuck a TikTok, I laugh at them because I love seeing them. Especially with them super truckers, because if they're not like I'm the best, I'm the best, they're usually saying you should come do this, work for me. And the one that's making me laugh in my head now, he was trying to cruise some guy. He's like, man, you you stupid if you ain't working here. I make a hundred million a week. I'm like, huh, huh, huh. I would love if somebody come up to me and say I make a hundred million a week. Come work for me. I'm, I, my first thought would be, if you make one hundred million a week, why are you driving a truck? Don't even mind. It's a passion job. I get that. And it's something you do you love and all that. And it brings in money. But if you were legit making that much money a week, you best believe if I was making a hundred million a week, I would not be behind this wheel. Not for my job anyway. I might buy my own personal truck for fun, but this would not be my job or income. You best believe that. Oh my goodness, you best believe that. Oh man, oh man. Oh, but no, we're in here. Oh, my God. Come back a little bit. Y'all are being very funky today. Fine. Fine. Y'all being very funky. A little bit more. Don't tell me I have to stand up there. I'm about to say, because I'm right in. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm a little cracked on that side. But I'm like, you know what? It's Friday. It's a dropping hook. I'm going to be out. Y'all will live. And that's the other thing I forgot to say about the lease. I like that it's an all dropping hook. Unlike some other leases where it's a lot of live loading and stuff, because then you gotta wait for it, the appointment times, all that. So another aspect of this that I do enjoy is that it is all drop and hook. So I'm just, I'm here. I don't have to wait. I mean, I'm gonna go check in, let them know I'm here. But it's like once I do that, drop the trailer, go find another one, you know. So there's that aspect too. So like, like I said, try it for yourself and get your own feel. But me personally, just like when I was with Gallon, I think it was last year. I probably will be trying to get to this more often. And that's another thing I'm doing. I started doing it last night. Make, like, I have all my leases written out. I could show you. And as a matter of fact, here, I'll give you a little sample. Here's one lease right here. It describes, like, the minimum, what you need, all the trailers that um, the company currently has. So I know their trailer number. So it describes all of that. That's what I have when I first get to a lease, which I need to do now for the dealership lease, I call it. But also have another thing I'm starting which is just a summed up version of it if you look right here which shows what it's good for the pros of it the cons of it you know it's just so when I go to be looking and like because it's gonna come again it happens every year around October to December I have to start mapping out what the next year will be at where I want to go so I gotta start doing that and this makes it a little bit easy well what I just showed you makes it a little bit easier so I can just look and like I right, do I want miles do I want money do I want to be home so it's just easier stuff like that you know and this I do recommend if you're trying to look for it try it because it's great for miles good income stuff like that so all right now i feel like i'm rambling so let me go check with them get this trailer dropped and see if we're gonna head straight home from here or what's gonna be happening out of um both sun all right yeah and load and everything to put all the stuff in the computer get the money all that so everything's done with that load now so i'm looking on the board and like i said i don't have this sheet in front of me now but i know this isn't a associated thing with the dealership lease that's what i call it so um so I could get this if I was trying to get back out. Like I said, you get good. Like I said, it's a high paying mile um, lease. So if you want the mileage and the money, you got, I mean, not so much mileage in this case, but you get the money, that's for sure. I'm not taking this one, though, because I'm going home. So, and um, somebody asked me last night, too, what were they talking to me about? Oh, like this stuff. Why wouldn't it be counted? Because to me, and this is the way I do it, you do it how you want. This is part of AMT because it's low boy. Actually, no, this one is part of Bitterman because it's coming out of Bitterman. This one would be AMT. Obviously, this one's 4 2 print. And this one, the fun wall bar is associated with so many. I'd have to sh ask and look to see what lease I'm wanting to pull that. Most likely, it looks like a municipal waste one. But that's another rant for another day. But point is, try the dealership lease out. And see how you like it because they do have options now what I'm looking for now because I'm trying to head home and the way I do it you got to pull out of um, Voltason if it's in there just like a lot of the other one SCS based one like 42 print uh, that fun Eddie's when I tried it <laughs> but yeah but the stuff like that 
Oh, and I'm going to answer something else too. Somebody asked me one time, why don't you pull for wall? But because it's associated with so much, I don't feel the need to try and be dedicated to them. No, nah, nada. <laughs> nada. Nope. So, all right, so let's see. The votes in right now. It's got one going to Enid. Oklahoma, too far out. So I'm not doing that. And this one's Tucson, which I think I already looked at. So and that's too far out too. I'm not trying to do that. So let's try the external. Uh, vector, 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 uh, vector. Oh, they got a lot coming out of San Diego today. Uh, vector flag stuff. I'm sorry, Volta Sun. <laughs> In my mind, I call it vector. But yes, Volta Sun. So Volta Sun, Volta Sun. Yuma, Tucson, Yuma. Oh, there we go, LA. Perfect, baby. Yep, perfect. See, that's why I say it, it works. I'm not <laughs> making this up. Yeah, and this is a perfect load. So, I right, let me do all the work for it. And at the end of this video, which I really do because I don't like doing the whole process to get it into the video. But I will show you the logbook for today. Just so when I say doing the logbook, you can see I'm not lying either. So, But I mean, do the... Paperwork and everything, get this locked in so we can go pick it up and head on home. Alright, paperwork's all done in the computer, they're in and everything like that, so good to go, so let's go grab it. And let's get going. So I'm gonna talk about, I think a few videos ago, I said why I like doing this as a trucker style vlog, and why the whole home daily thing, because take what I'm doing right now, like right now, the story behind it the how I'm staying moving how I'm constantly moving how it feels so realistic that's why I do it because you, I don't see people doing it yes I get it it's a game I get that fully and I also get people love to just come out and drive and run I get that I fully understand that trust me in multiplayer that's usually what I have to end up doing because that's what people like to do but look at how this has such a different feel to it. That's why I'm so thankful for all, of you, all my subscribers. Thank you. Give a clap on it. Thank you. You're all the real MVPs. What keeps me fueled to be doing this. Because I feel it's putting out something that... I know a lot of people do this. Make videos about this game. But no one puts into it what I put into it. That I've seen. And I've looked. Trust me. I watch a lot of them. But no one does it like I do. And it, yes, it helps the fact that I drive truck in reality so I can bring that aspect to it as well. But that's why I do this. That's why I'm very thankful y'all watch it. And that's why I, I think I said this maybe last year. It's something that will never end because trucking is a job of passion. I get to do this. It kind of coincides together, you know. And yes, the videos fall off from weeks months at a time because either a i'm just running local like i am now and don't have much to say so i don't feel like putting out a video and again i'm not getting paid to do this like some i know are getting paid and that's fine and dandy if they want to pay me <laughs> i'm not saying no but i'm doing this straight out of passion uh support for y'all viewers show y'all some love stuff like that and just put a different way that it can be done you know like i said it's a truck style vlog it's, you know, life is a daily thing. It's a, I'm not going to get religious, but it's a very grateful thing to be able to have a daily life, per se. So, point is, long story short, it's going to keep going. Like, you see how long I've done these videos and how long I'm going to keep doing them. But in every one, there's a different flavor, a different feel, a different flow, if you will. That's a year, don't it? There we go. So, and that's what I'm just saying. Thank you, and why I do it and how it feels different all that type of stuff you know and I think the other reason too is I'm thinking about why I show it to you so much so y'all anybody who drives out here does this can do the same thing or similar or take from mine change it up completely and do your own thing you know and I, the biggest aspect I say all the time I'm sure yes driving long is fun and I've done it you saw the whole Washington thing not that long ago it's fun it's nice it feels good but 300 miles can be just as adventurous as 1300 miles and <laughs> to be fair if you want to get honest 
actually the 300 miles like I'm doing today is a little bit more work and puts more into it than the um the 1300. But trust me, you 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 don't see when I'm doing local like this. No, stopping around looking at stuff. I'm moving, baby. I'm trying to get that money and get home. So I, that's just me. That's why I do, well, one of the reasons why I do it and stuff like that and just. A, insight to give y'all if anybody out here driving wants to you can do the exact same thing that's why i don't do mods that much i like this is obviously the least truck is the first one i've had and that's usually the only one i do i show it when i do it so y'all can give an insight to the truck again I, again I think i did this last episode but i'll show you again like i said this is a night one of my favorites like i said this is the second yeah, the second lease truck I've done twice, actually. The first one was that Mac I had. For the last one, I rented that one, which is the same thing. I don't know why I rented it, not just lease it. I think it was cheaper. But either way, so, I you know, like, that way you give you insight. Now, I don't do truck tours on the lease trucks, usually, just because they're not ones that will be around forever. I only do SCS-based trucks for truck tours. That way... They'll still be around at forever until SES says we're done with them, which hasn't happened today, so yeah, that's a good thing. But nope, that is pretty much a sum up of why the fuel and for all these home daily videos. So, Alright, then we're in here, hooked up. Uh, do I want to raise it up a little bit? Yeah, right, right there. I mean, you saw it was perfectly set up, but here we go. Now, <laughs> one aspect I don't like about this lease truck, which I, I don't get why, but. Lowers the gear, landing gear up. Hmm. We're, we're missing something, ain't we? But hey, that's a little. Y'all understand how that works with that mods, at least shows all that, and it's the small potatoes I can overlook, you know. So, Alright, then let me do my paperwork. And like I said at the end of this video, when we're home, I will show you the logbook just so, again, when I say stuff, y'all see it's not just BSing. <sighs> Alright, let me get this all done. Hey, law books are done. Get the oh, man's working on it. Is it a Mustang? Uh, I can't tell. He's in front of it. That's right. Thing. I'm pointing. But no, no, law books are done. Like I said, I like this little baby run too. I guess nah, I'm not <laughs> going that way until we get out there. Law books are done. Do tug test. Make sure you lock and let's roll. And yeah, that's why I'm glad I'm remembering the show coming out of Old to Sun. Good catch, X. Oh, that's a split axle. I forgot. I mean, I did the pre trip, but I forgot. When I got in the truck just now, I'm like, I was just thinking the same old dualies. Um, not dualies, but um, right next to each other. You know, the normal stuff you see, not this split axle like that. Uh, swing, swing, swing. And I'm showing you coming out of Volta Sun because it's a little bit easier if you come this way. Especially if you have the longer trucks. This one, like I said, this Pete ain't that long. Squeeze it. So, but you see, it's a little bit easier than coming out the other way. And I say that because I think when we left both the sun earlier today, I went the other way. And I think I did that on purpose just to show you how one way can be one way, whereas the other can be the other. So, yeah, take that curb a little bit. I don't care. Again, I'm not a super trucker. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Let's see here. Ah, oh, the fun traffic, traffic, traffic. At least I ain't stopped in the middle of the road like before. Uh, don't stop in front of me. Then I have to cut the video. Ah, darn it! All right, again, like I said, I don't like recording while sitting waiting for traffic. So I will get with y'all once you're on the highway. Thing. I might shoot when I get I, I might even put you because I like the old school using the paper map you know stuff like that because I remember when I was in the um way back in the day I think it was the Freightliner Classic XL before they put a GPS into their models yeah they used just paper map then and I liked it oh no I think it was no I think the, the last Mac I had the rental I was just talking about a little while ago I think it had a GPS but it's nice using the paper map you know you know where you're going you ain't following it verbatim I don't care what y'all say I think I've talked about this so much it's like not even a surprise follow them 
verbatim these GPS's will get you in trouble, trust me. Paper maps, I mean granted, you can misread them, but usually they, they told you knew where to go and they ain't lying, so. But it's GPS, can screw up halfway through, you get all mad, hey, yeah. J just trust me on that. about when you're coming through. San Diego through here, the lines form. That's why I follow signs. The lines will be a little hard to see, so you don't want to mix them, do all that mess up through there, you know? I got a Southern Boulevard in um, San Diego. Never knew that. But I should. I come back. I mean, it's not like my house uh, that often, but I've been down here quite a lot, so. Yeah, let's keep on headed up here. Keep on getting up here. Try and get over. He ain't gonna let me over, is he? Ah, the fun of truck trucking, baby. Ah, where am I? Oh, Vector. Oh, okay, it's, it's going to Vector. It's going to VLX. Not Vector, I thought it was. Sorry, Voltison, sorry. <laughs> to me, I say Vector, but it's, it's whatever. But, um, no, but I like days like, actually weeks like this, where you're not sure if you're going to get home. You don't know where you're going fully. You have an idea and you're trying, but, like, legit, all of this, that you just saw, I didn't know I'd be going home today. No, I did, that's, I mean, I knew I was, because when I started the video talking, well, anyway, um, I knew I was going to go home because San Diego to L.A., I don't even care. I think it's like 100 miles. Actually, it is 100 miles. Um, but being that close to the house, I'll burn up that little diesel. I don't like to, but if I've been gone like this in all that time, I'm going home at that point. But it's nice to be able to look back. I love when these happen, and I happen to be recording at the same time. It's nice being able to look back and be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm really hoping next week um, I've qualified for a save for them so I can start getting some of their local runs. And I'd be happy with just running up to Santa Maria or back down to San Diego or Carlsbad or something, you know. But, hey, I don't own those companies when I lease to them. They, they ain't my CEO stuff. So it's whatever they have available, you know. It could just be also, too, maybe I'm looking too much into it and they just don't have anything available going to that them places at that that time you know because i don't maybe you don't follow the real life trucking industry but times are rough right now in the trucking industry and it happens don't get me wrong it's not like it's a new thing veteran truckers know you have your years where it's down you have your years where it's up you know but trust me this year has definitely been a i've heard from so many truck drivers uh record breaking unprecedented down which are a lot of reasons behind that which i'm not gonna go into the point is, eventually, it's kind of a given. It will come back up, you know? And it's just about, as far as if you own or operate and not working for a company, and that'll be the last I talk about the real life trucking industry. Um, own or operate, you just go where the money's coming in, you know, do what you have to do. I've seen truck drivers quit. I've seen them move over to different criteria as far as what they're pulling. They used to be doing dry vans, now they're doing like flat beds, which is changing up all together, you know. That's why I'm thankful my real life trucking job is a government job <laughs> that I don't have to worry about where my next load's coming from and stuff like that. So I'm very, lack of a better term, I don't like to get religious, but very blessed in my job. Especially considering when I started, I attempt for two years at that same position job because I knew the benefits having it coming from the overall company I was with. I say the name, I don't care, U.S. Express. Yeah. 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 So. And that's all I'm going to talk about the real life trucking industry. You want to look more, just go to TikTok. Just look anywhere. Type in Google and trucking industry. You'll get probably at least a good five hours worth of reading or watching material. Trust me. Trust me. It's so good to be back in L.A. I mean, I know I say all the time, California is not great scenic viewing. It's too commercial, all that stuff. But just the 
in general sense to just be coming back home on a Friday for that because my original plan before I got the San Diego load I thought alright if I can get something just close then I, if I have to I'll deliver early Saturday morning that's happened quite often before but be able to be getting home A on a Friday B before fucking 6 o'clock and C to be able to be off all weekend that's just nice that's just nice it doesn't happen as often as I would like Oh, and that's another thing. I forgot I'm going to do that, too, since I can do that now. Another perk of the lease, too, at SCS Base 1. I can park my truck over at the, um, Voters Center for the... Well, no, I can't. I forgot they're a small little thing. Can't park over there. I don't want them saying that, so I'll just park at the house. Or by the house or at the garage, so... I should just keep heading on up, but... Well, I want to say it's in a contract, so what about this inside? It's just easier to get on Southern Boulevard and keep rolling. I hate Southern Boulevard traffic, as I've complained about many times, but it's funny looking back, because I remember back in the day, I used to say, oh, I live on Southern Boulevard, but I don't know the name of the road. Dumb behind, it's Southern Boulevard. <laughs> Uh, it's just funny. It, it's stuff you have to get dive into and be doing this persistent, per, persistent, yeah, persistently. I'm trying to think. Is that the right way to say it? Persistently, I guess persistently. Yeah, because persi Okay, yeah. So you gotta do it persistently to pick up on stuff like this, and that's why I do these videos. You, you can't just jump in and do like I do now. It takes building up. That's why I'll, one of my affirmations is persistence is what gets you there. Yes, it's been the same game since 2016. They've updated, don't get me wrong. But I, as you see, I'm still in L.A. Still have the trucks that you've seen in some video sites for the ones I just sold. So, yes, persistence. If you remember any affirmation I have a quote ever. <laughs> um, persistence is what gets you there. And that is a given truth. Don't get me wrong, you'll have ups and downs. As you see, I... Uh, I think that'll probably be the worst one. I tried the bus hook thing coming out of Oklahoma. Go back to January. You'll see the idea I had for it, the notion and the high hopes I had for it, which it went horribly wrong. Don't get me wrong. I could still be doing it. As a matter of fact, I think I even still have the markdown paper for it sitting here somewhere. Well, no, that's probably in a bag. That was another truck. But anyway, yeah, that did not go as planned that wide from January to February it, it was rough getting going compared to what I originally thought it would be like but hey that's why I think the video <laughs> actually was called adjusting and trucking because yeah I need to make some adjustments on that heavily but anyway back to what I was saying persistence is what gets you there you see that was down for me now I'm back on the upside and flowing smoothly nice and all good like that now I'm hoping, I'm hoping, because yes, I may own the house, but if the entire development, once I'm going, I don't care about them. If the entire development just wanted to up and sell, then I'd have to figure out where I would move to. But I'm still going to try and stay in the L.A. Well, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Because my folks don't live around here, so not like I have any family to keep me here. So, But as it stands right now, Looking in long term, if it were to happen, I'd try and stay in the LA area. And I've looked at places, I'll look, show you the map while we're here. I've seen a few places in San Diego, which I'm like, all right, I might look down there, It'd be a little bit lower, but they still have everything I'm looking for as far as nice dealers around, good area. And the other place I looked, there was somewhere, I'd have to show it to you next time I pass it, but it's somewhere through here here they had a nice little housing area they were um looking to um sell well at the time they were selling so i'm like all right well if need be i'll go there too but that's only if the development where i'm at now the sales hopefully they never do which i don't think they will but it makes me nervous when they keep talking about the revamp of la and all that i'm like oh lord don't tell me they're gonna sell the house it's worked out so well all these years but hey that's kind of part of life too, you know, and what the heck are they doing? Is the lights red? No, this green just changed. So, and now you see why I say I don't like riding through Southern Boulevard. Yes, you only have like two minutes ago, but I knew we'd be coming up to the lights soon. It's not long. If 
from there I can slip around the back way I think I showed y'all on Monday actually slip the back way to get down to the house so I can avoid Southern Boulevard and yes I'm taking a light they can soak it okay no ticket thankfully alright we're good right there oh yeah the fun LA voters <laughs> Oh, this should be fun, because it is not wide out and open, but hey, add something new, you know, and I can say I did it, I know a lot of people avoid crap like this, or avoid new, they just like getting out, I hate to say it, lack of a better term, and call it what it is, steering wheel holders, and that, as you can tell from the videos, all of them, that is not me, come on. Dang, if y'all swing, I could give me a little extra room through here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, swing wide. I'm swinging wide because I have a feeling I don't know where they need it at. Bring up the paper map. Uh, oh, okay, it might get easy. Oh, okay, lucky, lucky. Ha, <laughs> that's a good start to a Friday. Well, that's just been a good start to begin with. But I think I get lucky and I get the good one, was right down there, I believe. Yes! Oh, that is awesome! That is freaking awesome! I don't care. I don't care. No, I said freaking, so don't go saying nothing. But that is awesome. That is an easy back. That's the one. Because <laughs> I've been here many times before for various other leases, but I learned quick. That is the easiest back here. And that's the one y'all. I'm always hoping for if I'm coming here. And yes, baby. I got the easy one. I just assume you're right. Don't let it get away from me. Well, not a way per se, just more than I want, so. Alright, there we go. There we go, I'm trying to get just right so I can see that. There we go. There we go. This way, a little more so I can pull it back. Oh, no, that's what I said. It's on the downside sometimes. Looking around that panel back there can be a little hard. But I still love the truck, though. Now, I want to say the model I had before wasn't like that, but it was probably a different sleeper. But you see, I adjust quickly to it. Hey, like I just said a while ago, a few miles ago, adjusting in trucking, that is a given if you are a driver in trucking. So. Actually, if you're a driver in general. I'll pull up on it low because I'm anal about being. It just looks nice, so I'll pull up. Don't need to. I'm sure they would have taken it, but I'm like, well, you're already here. Just squeeze it back around like half an inch, and you're good. Yes, I'm that. Call it what it is. I just call it being OCD. It just looks nice. It's satis satisfying for me, to me, per se, you know. There we go. There we go. And that is beautiful. And we're going to hit this break as soon as they say we good. We good. That is nice. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Alright then, let me go ahead and um, talk to them. Let them know I'm here. Get the paperwork done. All that stuff. We should be good to go now. Yep. Alright, let's head on to the house. As you, if you just saw back there, you saw how small Voltison was, so I'm not parking there. <laughs> At that, uh, and I was gonna try and do the back way, which I thought was the back way, but you see, it's not even. Um, well, maybe you didn't see, but by the time I run up, because you have to get back on five, go around and do all that. I'm like, dude, it is legit. A few lights, and you're at the house, so you're gonna save yourself in fuel just by doing that. So. Nope, let's get on down to the house. It's been a great fight, if you ask me. So, uh, slip on by, slip on by, slip on by. There we go. Up and let me remember I'm in Cali. Not, not just Cali. I'm on Southern Boulevard, so you can only do like 30. Enough, thanks y'all for riding with me. I'm hoping it's been a short episode. Um, I don't know. I, I, I got lost after a while. <laughs> y'all know that happens sometimes. 
But when we get up here, I'm going to show you the log book. Normally, because I've done it back in the day, normally it would be pictures, but the way I do my log book now, my device I used for it messed up years ago and it's not as big. So I'm going to try and take my um, cell phone and record it video wise and then talk over it so y'all can see the full view of it. Because I don't like the dual pictures. I've done it, it works. You get what you need, but it's a lot easier just to video it all together. Just the video won't look as crisp and clean as it does now, you know. But I still got, I'm still getting the point out that I'm going to show. So again, and that's just to show you when I say when I say I'm doing the paperwork, the log book, doing everything. I'm not making it up. I'm not making it up. And I've had people ask me many times, "Oh, what log book you use?" And I've showed that before. I um, can show you again. It's somewhere I don't know if you wanted to ask. I'll show you. But um, and it works. And the reason I use it, I've been using it for years. Again, persistence is what gets you there. It's the only one where it doesn't rely on real life linking up as far as where you at and all that. So it's literally all just manually hand into it. And the reason I like it is because I can still do what a lot of trucks and companies can't do today a lot of drivers per se I should say and that's fudge the log book if you own your own ELDs and all that that's different you'll figure it out but I like the old school paper logs because you can fudge them you can still get away with that all I gotta do is that turn it in then I'm done and as long as it looks legal it's good so that's why I still use that app and trust me the day it doesn't work and trust me from my old device it's messed up on some devices it doesn't want to I fought like heck to get it back working able to be done that's why you see like I said when coming down why it's on two screens or two pictures now back in the day it used to be one back in the day I used to be able to PDF it send it do it that way it changes over time but and I can't stress it enough if you see it's proof in the pudding persistence is what gets you there I'm still achieving the same goal in the end that I want for my logs and I can still fudge them that's the thing Alright, I don't know why I'm blowing the horn for it to have it being in so many truck stops, shippers, all that. Back it up so my garage closes up. There we go. A little bit more, I should be right about here with it automatically up. Yep, there we go. I mean, if I thought we were catacorn a little bit this way so it's easy to get out come Monday. Alright, cool, and that is what you call a good successful Friday, minus this, but. Yeah, get out here, do this post trip. Just make sure everything good. Looks good. I use a wash, but she looks good. Look good, nice, clean, and neat. Like I said, I love the 379X. I love the 379X. Okay, if you look here, this is legit the log book. That's why I say when I say stuff, I'm not making it up. This was the entire day. And then you see, you can see where it says I pre-tripped it back. That's why I get so confused. Because you see, I say vector. They know what I mean. They don't care. They, yeah. So they do that. Do all that. And you see now I'm here. I'm done. Even have my mileage, what day it is, all that. So when I say I'm doing the law book, I'm not lying. And another thing I want to show you. When I say I only have so much time left. You see, I can only do another 23 hours until I got to take a 34. And as far as driving, when I say I only have so much time left, like right now I drove six hours, 6.5, call it um, seven altogether if you want to round it up, but six there. You know the whole legal thing. You can only drive 11. You can only do three hours of on duty. So I'm legal. I'm good. I'm perfect today. But when I say these things, that is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So give y'all one more look at the log book. Just show. Like, uh, it it could be more... Come on now. Yuma to San Diego. San Diego to LA. I mean, come on. Come on. If you want to do this, like I said, there's an app. I will gladly show you the app. It adds so much more to this. So much more. Yep. Adds so much more. All right, then. Well, let me shut this truck down. Get ready for the weekend. I hope y'all have a great weekend. It is going to be May. First weekend in May, y'all. Make it count. Do something. Have fun with it. Them summer months are... That summer month is pretty much here for you um, school people. But let's say you're not. Say y'all people who work like me. We think of it more in the June range. 
it's fastly approaching for y'all who have just started now make it count this weekend y'all for all you up and coming graduates because my brother-in-law is getting ready to graduate in like a couple of weeks actually so be glad y'all made it i'm happy for all of y'all uh, everyone just have a good day today enjoy the weekend let's get it going y'all come on